Now move to the question number 11 which states that a point charge Q is placed at the center of a cube of side length A. The electric flux emerging from one of the face of the cube is. Now dear students we know that the flux through a cube is equal to Q upon epsilon naught because this charge is enclosed within the cube. Now in the cube there are six faces and uh, flux is equally distributed on the each face and uh, flux through each face will be equal to total flux divided by 6 and it will be equal to q upon 6 epsilon naught this is a easy category question and option 3 will be the correct answer now move to the question number 12 which states that the electric field components in a space is given as ex equal to alpha x power 1 by 3 ey and ez are 0 where alpha equal to 400 in si units and x is distance from the origin the charge is enclosed within the cube as shown in the figure is as you may equal to 1 meter. Now dear students just consider the situation that uh, there is a cube and let this is the axis this is y axis this is x axis and this is z axis as this distance is a and this distance is also a now a equal to 1 meter is given now what will the electric field here at this face and at this face let at this face this is a2 and at this face this is a1 but we can see that uh, area vector is opposite to the electric field at surface 1 and here in same direction at surface 2 then what will be the phi 1 phi 1 will be equal to minus e1 into area phi 2 will be equal to e2 into area why this because here area vector and electric field vector are in opposite direction but here they are in same direction what will be the phi net phi net will be equal to phi 1 plus phi 2 and if we put the values we will get that this will be 400 a k power 1 by 3 into minus a plus 400 into 2 a power 1 by 3 into a putting the value of area we will get total flux as 400 into a to power 7 by 3 into 2 power 1 by 3 minus 1 now what will be the charge q will be equal to epsilon naught times phi and it will be equal to 400 epsilon naught if we putting the value of a as a 1 then a power 7 by 3 will be equal to 1 and into 2 power 1 by 3 minus 1 now which option will be the correct option 3 will be the correct answer now move to the question number 13 which states that if 10 k power 10 electrons move out from a body to another body every second then the approximate time required to get a total charge of minus 1 coulomb on the other body is. Now dear students we know that what is the dn upon dt. dn upon dt is known as dq upon dt upon e. If we integrate here, then we will get that T will be equal to Q upon dn upon dt into E. Now putting the value, here Q is given as 1 coulomb. Let's take the magnitude because here electric charge E have negative charge and here Q is also negative charge. They will cancel out. Now 1 upon dn upon dt that is 10 k power 10 into a is 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 now after solving that we will get 6.25 into 10 power 8 second now to convert into year what will be the time the time in year will be 6.25 into 10 k power 8 divided by there are 365 days in a year and on each day there are 24 hours or in, in one hour there are 3600 seconds. On solving these values we will get approximately 20 years.
that means option number one will be the correct answer now move to the question number 14 which states that an isolated non-conducting solid sphere of radius r is a given an electric charge the charge is uniformly distributed in the volume of a sphere the graph which shows the correct variation of the magnitude of electric field with distance r from the center of the sphere is now dear students we know that for a uniformly charged solid sphere what is the electric field inside the sphere and outside the sphere as we know that inside the sphere electric field varies linearly and becomes maximum and after that it decreases as a inverse square law that means electric field inside the cube inside the sphere is proportional to r that is for r less than r and electric field is proportional to 1 by r square for r greater than r hence which option will be correct option number 2 will be the correct answer now move to the question number 15 which states that two long wire having linear charge density lambda and minus lambda are placed parallel to each other at the separation r as shown in the figure electric field at point p will be now dear students here lambda is given and lambda is given we know that electric field due to long uh, wire is e equal to lambda upon 2 pi epsilon naught r here this distance is x then this distance will be equal to r minus x now we know that the electric field at point p will be equal to e1 plus e2 and it will be equal to lambda upon 2 pi epsilon naught x plus lambda upon 2 pi epsilon naught r minus x now after solving this equation we will get e equal to lambda upon 2 pi epsilon naught this will be r minus x plus x upon x into r minus x now this will gives us lambda r upon 2 pi epsilon naught x into r minus x now which option will be correct option number 4 is the correct answer